The phase three randomized um, study Checkmate 067 compared nivolumab alone or nivolumab plus ipilimumab against ipilimumab in patients with melanoma, metastatic melanoma in the first line um, treatment. 945 patients were recruited into this study and randomized um, one to one to one, um, stratified according to pd one status, um, sites of metastases and BRAF status. Patients were, in terms of age, gender, well balanced, and really for the first time um, the results today were presented. Primary endpoint here was the progression free survival, secondary endpoints, overall survival based on PDL1 status, and uh, response rates and side effect profile. In terms of the primary endpoint progression free survival, we could see for the combination the nivolumab plus ipilimumab, the progression-free survival was around 12 months. The nivolumab alone arm had a progression-free survival of about eight months and ipilimumab around three months. So significant um, improvement for the combination with a hazard ratio of 0.79, so 21% risk reduction for patients receiving the combination um, compared to ipilimumab um, alone. So this was really interesting. Um, as you may know, and the um, community has reported um, lots of immunotherapy trials here at ASCO. Um, lots of talk is about the biomarker PDL1 and whether this predicts um, response or survival benefit. This study was actually um, looked into this upfront into PDL1 status, but couldn't really for the progression free survival endpoint show that there was a significant difference between PDL1 expression and um, outcome, especially for the nivolumab, ipilimumab or nivolumab arm. Um, in terms of response, PDL1 was um, um, significant. Um, so patients who had PDL1 positive tumors had respo um, response rates around 70% versus 50% um, um, who, for patients who were, were negative. I think the jury for melanoma in this case is still out. We have just seen um, reports um, in squamous cell lung cancer where, where the PD1 status was certainly um, more predictive um, than, than here in this case. Um, one key um, is to mention, although the progression free survival was significantly of, of benefit, um, the toxicity profile for the combination was certainly higher. Um, the grade 3 and higher toxicities were around um, 50 percent, um, quite significantly um, higher compared to nivolumab alone or the ipilimumab. Um, important is to mention that there were no treatment related deaths and again this is for um, the community something we need to acknowledge and probably taper and, and understand better how we manage these um, toxicity profiles. Remember this is a phase three study where as well centers were involved where the, the kind of management of toxicity side effects um, may have not been um, as strictly followed as, as in more um, earlier disease um, centers. So overall, really exciting results um, and really a paradigm shift. Um, the first time that double immunotherapy combination is superior to the ipilimumab standard therapy and really from today on um, we, we should regard this combination as, as a new standard of care for first-line treatment um, in patients with melanoma.